Hey everybody, it's Sadie from Hip in Detroit. I'm hanging out at the Crowfoot in Pontiac with Jenny Owen Youngs. Hello. Who's playing here tonight? Who are we playing with? Uh, Burning Ponies, Cars Before Horses, and Hampshire. So two out of three have something to do with horses. That's the way. Yes. We are in town from New Jersey, correct? I live in Brooklyn now. Live in Brooklyn but now. Born and raised in Jersey. When did you get out of there? Uh, just in 2008, I moved into Brooklyn. And you did not fall victim to big hair and tacky nails. No, I'm more from the part of New Jersey that's like cows and farms. Oh wow! And woods. It's very like uh, there's not a lot of PR going on about <laughs> that part of Jersey. <laughs> that's really awesome. Um, you've been doing music since 2005. Uh, yeah, I self-released, but pretty much your whole life. Um, yeah, self you know. Oh, I self-released it in 2005, it got picked up by a label, they re-released that and my second record, and then I just re uh, self-released my most recent record at the beginning of, like, about a year ago. An unwavering band of life? Yes. In 2011, correct? Uh, 12. 2012. 2012, okay. Um, it's really good. I have uh, two favorite songs. I like Tyrants. Awesome! And I like, oh god, Your Apartment. I think those Thank are both you. wonderful songs. The entire album is really good, there's a lot of variety on it, upbeat, low. Beat, yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of instruments. Um, piano. Yeah, sure. Violin. Oh yes. Name everything. Um, there's a lot of percussion. A lot of percussion. Um, a lot of drums, like you know, guitars and bass, like you would think. Piano, Rhodes, various synthesizers and keyboards. Uh, Glockenspiel, ukulele, probably <laughs> accordion. Some other nonsense. Do you play most of that yourself, or do you have help? Um, I do a good chunk of the fretted string instruments. Uh, and then the producer that I work with, Dan Romer, who is amazing, plays everything. Um, so he does a lot of the instruments. And then we have an incredible drummer that we work with named Elliot Jacobson. And a really rad bass player named Chris Kuffner, who are both like, who, who really contributed to the sound of the record besides me and Dan. Okay, and when you play live, do you play with a lot of people or do you just play by yourself? I do a lot of touring by myself. And um, when I do go out with a band, what I've been doing recently is a power trio. So just electric guitar, bass, and drums. Okay. Um, but you know, we, we kind of work the arrangements to like cover as much ground as possible between the three of us. All right. And I know that you are coming back sometime in the next two months, I believe. Yes, I think it's April. We'll have it up on the site, but you get for, uh, it's with Chuck Reagan. Oh yes, yeah, with Chuck Reagan and which the is really cool. Tour. So awesome. And this isn't the first time you've done that. No, I did it back in two thousand and. Mm -hmm. I believe that's what I read. I, that sounds right. And uh, <laughs> it was the best like eight days of my touring life. So you've been all over the world, correct? Um, at least some of it. All right, where have you been? Um, I've been to the UK and mainland Europe and all over the United States and some of Canada. Okay, and you toured with Motion City Soundtrack? I sure did. How was that? Amazing. What was the best memory that you have? Um, geez, the best memory that I have was uh, they were doing their, their albums tour. Um, like last year, and uh, we opened a show in New York, and we played one of the a song from one of the albums they weren't playing that night, and everybody was just like doing the Motion City thing and singing every word, and it was really beautiful. That's really cool. Crowds are my favorite thing to watch when I'm at a show. Yeah, good Even crowds. Even though I are. like to watch the performer, I love to watch the crowd. Totally. Those are my favorite pictures of shows too. Uh, we also have a mutual friend, Mr. Brian Southpaw. The dreamiest of all possible beards. <laughs> of all possible beards, I so like that. Run my fingers through it. Oh man, that's crazy. I don't Sorry. know if I think that when I think about Brian. Well, I think he's kind of a cute more little bear. For me. There you go. Um, he went to Europe with you. Um, I went to Europe with him. There you go. And he volunteered to learn all of my songs and uh, helped Tony and some of the other Motion City guys. Uh, get it together and they played it for that's my it set as long as their own little. set. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, amazing. Um, he speaks very highly of you. I will and always he speak said, highly of him. You would really like this girl, it's your kind of music. And he, you know, obviously when you contacted me I was like, holy shit, this is my kind of music. Like, yes! You're a very good singer-songwriter. Thank you so much. Um, do you write from your own life or do you write just about, do you think of things? I mean. Mm, it's kind of like all over the place. I mean, I definitely am moving, I think, away from the sort of like confessional uh, way that I used to write songs. Okay. I'm a lot happier now, so there's like less to... You know, I don't like to compare people to people, but I'm a big uh, Jenny Lewis fan. Oh, and, sure, yeah. We um, have the same hair, so... You do, and the same name. Oh, and yeah. And you're both singer-songwriters. Yes. But I kind of thought to myself when I was listening to your record, she's the happy Jenny. Oh, what? Like, because that's the thing that she does is super sad, especially her two solos. And I mean, I think yeah, there's a lot yeah. more to your music. There's, 
many more instruments, oh, yeah. whatever. But you're the happy Jenny, which is not a bad thing to be because she's an amazing woman. Totally. But, and you can sing probably a lot better than her. So. Well, I'm not going to get involved oh, no. you in those qualifiers. You definitely can. You. Um, also, my boyfriend, who's very metal, loves the way that you sing. And you yes, should be yes. very complimented by that because yes. he hates everything I listen to. And he does not mind when I put you on. I'm winning. So, I'm winning. Um, was Unraving, that was your third album? Yeah, yeah, my third album. And it's all up online for people to get. For sure, yeah. You can get it in iTunes and you can stream it on Bandcamp. Oh, so okay, cool. Was... So you can stream it for free too if you just want to check it out. Totally. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Oh my gosh, thank you.